Hello everybody, welcome to Sophie's Sweets Academy. Today for Whisket Wednesdays, I'm going to show you how to make cannoli brownies. Cannolis are one of my favorite desserts and they are even better paired with brownies. And I'm not Italian or anything, so if this is not the traditional way of making cannoli filling, then don't come at me. But this is my version of them. Alright, let's get started with a list of the ingredients. You'll need brownie mix and the mix ingredients, a cup of ricotta cheese, 5 tablespoons of mascarpone cheese, half a teaspoon of vanilla, 3 quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, 3 to 4 tablespoons of mini chocolate chips, and 2 cannoli shells. One really important thing you must do is to drain the excess liquid from the ricotta cheese. The cheese naturally has a lot of moisture and you want to take some of that liquid out to get the right consistency for the cannoli filling. One way is to get a cheesecloth, wrap it up like in the picture, and let it hang overnight in the fridge and let all the excess fluid just drip off. I didn't have this so I basically just laid the cheese on a thick paper towel and I tapped the excess liquid off. The paper towels I used were very thick so no fuzzies or anything got on the actual cheese. Uh, but I did waste quite a bit of paper towels doing this so do whatever works for you. You can also not drain any of the liquid out. The flavor will still be there, but the texture will be a bit off, but who cares, they're still amazing. So I'm still on the hunt for the best brownie recipe, but so far Ghirardelli is my favorite and it never disappoints. But feel free to use your favorite brownie mix or recipe if you have a good recipe. And I did not substitute any ingredients stated in the box, so here I'm just following the box instructions. And this box came with a fudge packet, so that's what I'm adding here. Can I just say how convenient box brownie mix is? I mean, how easy is this? Okay, so make sure to line your pan with parchment paper because this way you can just slide everything out once it's fully baked. Into the oven this goes according to the box instructions. And now for the cannoli topping. So combine the ricotta cheese and the mascarpone cheese. As well as the vanilla. And powdered sugar. Mix it all together. I started with a whisk and then I used an electric mixer to mix it all up. Just mix it until you don't see any more powdered sugar. Now get your cold heavy whipping cream and whip it on high for about 5 minutes until stiff peaks form. It should look light and fluffy like this. So pour it all into your cheese mixture. And I like to get every single little bit out. I watched videos where they just pour out the mixture, not scraping down the bowl, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, there's so much left, just scoop it out. I guess that's a pet peeve of mine, I don't know. Anyways, so now fold the whipped cream into the cheese mixture. So basically scoop the bottom and bring it to the top and keep repeating until everything is combined. You don't want to use a whisk or a mixer for this part because the uh, heavy whipping cream is very light and fluffy. And if you mix it too aggressively, it will lose a lot of the air that you just added to it. And the overall mixture won't be as light as it should be. Does that make sense? Take your time with this. It's a little time consuming, but just trust the process. It should look like this, so now add your chocolate chips and mix until the chocolate chips are well incorporated. Remember, don't over mix. And guess what? You have just made cannoli filling, or topping in this case. And our brownies are done and I let them completely cool before I added the cannoli mixture. In the meantime that you're waiting for the brownies to cool off, you can put the cannoli mixture in the fridge. 
It's up to you whether you like a thick or a thin layer of this. I personally love cannoli filling, so mine was a little bit on the thick side, but it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to add the cannoli shell topping. I got these from Major Market in California, but you can also find them on Amazon. This is also completely optional, so if you can't find these, then you don't have to add them. Also optional is a chocolate drizzle. I just like to make everything fancy, I guess. And top everything off with powdered sugar. Let it chill in the fridge for four to five hours or overnight. And look at the brownie and cannoli layers. Oh my gosh, so good. And this is a top view. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching this cannoli and brownie hybrid video. Let me know if you make it. I really love when you share your pictures with me. And I'll see you next time for Whisket Wednesdays. Bye.